Hello everyone, it's all about Thea. Today I would like to show you the, the really fast tutorial how to check the force needed to move the mechanism. We'll check our force in the rigid dynamic analysis system in which we define our material, our, our boundary condition and all the necessary things. Okay, let's start. Let's go to rigid dynamic. Let's create our standalone system. Let's import our geometry that I created previously, previously for this uh, video and let's prepare our, our geometry. Let's go to edit geometry in design modeler. It will take a while to start the design modeler. Uh, okay, th here, here we are and uh, when we import our geometry, first of all we have to generate it. So let's generate our geometry. Okay, here is our geometry, here, here is our mechanism. The mechanism is made of the four or five parts. The first part will be the frame of this mechanism. The second part will be the base of this mechanism will be fixed. Uh, the frame will be, um, I didn't said it, it will be a movable, movable part, uh, the base will be fixed part, uh, we will get the, we will have our piston, which will be movable in the later defined x direction, in this, it will be this direction, and we get two cranks that are connected, that are connecting the base part and the uh, frame part. Like you see, we've got 86 parts and 86 bodies. We want to create five parts. To do this, let's go to 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 our and like you see, we've got the rod. I already created the names for the for the specific parts, like frame, like the base, not to 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 really faster the, our simulation. So let's let's go and form our new part. Let's go to rod one and rod two form a new part. Let's do this the same for the base. It's highlighted the base part and again form a new part and for the frame. It's also highlighted and let's uh, form a new part. We also got the crank but we won't uh, create uh, we won't form the form them as a new part because they are separate things. In this mechanism as a steel, but like you see we've got some rubber rubber things. And we won't define them as a rubber to faster a, a little bit our simulation because they are small things and they will no uh, they will not concern us as a as a we will not concern them their density of this material. So we will create only one material still, and we will uh, define them for all the for all these our for for this own mechanism. Okay, let's close our design modeler. Let's define our material. Let's create our steel. Okay, let's create density for our steel. It's going to be. 7950 kilograms per cubic meter okay 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 let's go to model and let's define our uh, boundary condition it will take a while to, to load the model let's start the mechanical uh, I also have to say about our mechanism that I've already uh, suppressed all the uh, parts, all the screws, uh, all the bearings that were here and here, here and here, because they they won't concern us in the simulation and they will won't change our our force, or maybe they will change a little bit, but it's so small that we won't um, uh, take a moment. We won't uh, use them in our analysis. Okay, first of all, let's create our, uh, let's define our material, steel, also the steel, and the part one, steel, steel, and steel. 
Okay, we have defined our material. Let's go to connection. Let's uh, delete our uh, default connection. Let's create our own connection. First of all, let's create fix for the uh, base part. Maybe for these two walls. Apply. And they, they are fixed. Now let's create the revo revolute uh, joints. Uh, insert. Uh, let's go to body to body. Mm, like I said, revolute. Uh, first, first our bearing to crank. Okay. Now let's define the uh, body to body again. Revolute uh, crank to our frame. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Okay. That's all for this uh, side of our mechanism. Let's do the same for this side. Again, revolute this to this, and bearing to to the crank. Uh, again, revolute mm, body to body. Revolute. Uh, our crank to our frame apply and our uh, piston to the frame body to body revolute apply and apply Now, like I said, we want to move our uh, piston downward, so we will create uh, the next uh, joint, body to ground, transla translational. Let's define maybe this uh, part of this body, and like you see, it's an X direction, like I said in the in the start of this video, in the design model part, and. Let's go to. I think that's all for the for the uh, joints. Okay. Let's go to transient. Let's go to insert joint load. Let's create. Let's define our transitional. Let's move it by. Uh, I didn't say this it earlier, but we have the, the our mechanism. Our piston moved by the uh, value of the 80 newtons. 80 newtons, but we want to create it in the 80 steps. Each steps will each step will be one millimeter. One. 80 newton, 80 millimeters. Okay. Like you see, each each step is one millimeter. First uh, first step is a one millimeter. Second step is a two millimeter. Etc. Okay, now let's uh, insert the probe of our uh, joint. Let's go to transitional total force, and we would like to check the force in the x y x axis because it's the x axis which is the force needed for our actuator, and that's all for the. Geometry. Oh, I forgot. We have to define, of course, our uh, standard earth gravity. So let's go to transient standard earth gravity. Let's define it by the y direction. Minus y. It's standard earth gravity, so we won't uh, change it. And let's solve our problem. Okay, here is our uh, result. Let's check. Let's look how the mechanism uh, is moving. Is it all right or is it not all right? Okay, let's take a while. 
like you see it move like we want it and here is our uh, force needed to move the mechanism like you see it's changing in the time of our uh, simulation and like you see it's the highest in this point uh, we will uh, retrieve this result and this point like you see is the highest force the mechanism has to uh, the actuator, actuator has to move to move all the mechanism. It's the value of the uh, 504 newtons. It's about uh, 50 kilos to, to, to move. From this uh, graph we can check what is the force needed for our mechanism. For example, this mechanism has the piston of 80 mm which can move the value of the 120 uh, kilos so it's enough to move this mechanism but for the purpose of this uh, video I wanted to show you how to check this this force like I said it's really fast uh, really fast uh, tutorial so we will end our tutorial in this place and See you in the next video. I hope you liked it. I hope to. I hope you liked it. Uh, comment below and uh, leave the subscribe. Bye.